You can do this, Yeti. You can do this. You can do it. At least 5,000. Do you know what I'm saying? You can do this. Editing Yeti, I'm back here for a moment to let you know that I'm so sorry to anyone that feels like deja vu. I've seen this video before. You probably have. I've uploaded it twice. Unfortunately, I had some sound issues in the second half of this video. So I had to strip the sound off and voice over. Yeah. So if you're looking like, mm, it's like the lift are not matching, please know that i've tried my best and i didn't want to remove the video because i felt like it was really great for those that would be interested in this kind of thing so enjoy the video it is good and it has some great info and great pictures and videos enjoy <laughs> mic check one two one two one two one two check the mic check the mic i'm checking the mic one two one two Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetunde. I'm Yetunde. Yetunde. Yeah, it's not my husband alone that can sing. I can sing too. Whatever. If you can hear my mum shouting on the phone, hey, I'm in her house. And she likes how she talks. It's her voice. Oh, anyway, I am here to share this with you guys. I don't do fad diets, I like my food. If you know my channel, if you've watched my vlogs, you know I like to eat. You know I love food, food is my best friend. I can't stop eating and that's okay. I am alive, I am free. And I will never ever ever stop eating. I love a good food. I love a good food, I like to eat. That is how I do that is how I do things right anyway um, so yeah I'm I like to eat I love food um, food is good but food can also be an enemy to my ab evolution when I came to England last last year in the summer I was excited I, there was a lot of food I hadn't been eating in such a long time I was eating pastries come takeaway home fries home I was just eating everything guys I was eating everything because I was like what what the egg I can't let me eat I've not had this in a long time you know because obviously like in Nigeria they have all these fancy restaurants that do all of these things maybe like a burger for 5k you know that kind of stuff but it really is not the same it's not the same sometimes you just there's, there's a lot more choice if you've come to London before you know that there is uh, excess choice it's a melting pot of like different cultures and if you want a bit of Vietnamese you want some Korean if you want some Mexican you can get it you can get it and it's delicious and I just want to eat all of it <sighs> however that was proven difficult on my on my stomach on my and other areas like I was putting on weight I was getting fat Getting fat is relative because, you know, you might be like, oh, you're not fat, whatever. Mm, please, I'm not asking you. 
I know I'm not fat, but when you're trying to put your jeans on, when you're trying to, when you're jumping like four times to try to get them on, you then realize that I'm fat. Or if it's like you're wearing that dress that was a little bit, a little bit, it's not. You, I've gotten fat and that was what was happening. I was wearing dresses, I was wearing my clothes and I was feeling like a stuffed sausage. Like, I was like, this is not my life. Ele, can you me? As in, what is this? Anyway, so I decided that it was time to make a change. What was the change? I had to start working out. I, like, I've been on and off, you know, I even tried to do some workouts tones here and I realized that, oh, Lord, oh, when is it? Of course, in practice. I, what I said was that I don't know anything when it comes to workout. I'm still learning myself because I was, I like, I just, and I didn't have the stamina. I used to go to the gym before lockdown, obviously lockdown. And then after, afterwards, I just felt a bit weirded out going to the gym. Like I was like, mm. and even the gym I was going to then, I was like, mm, do you people are not really sanitizing this place now? Uh, you didn't really sanitize it before. You're going to tell me after COVID you're sanitizing. <laughs> Please, I'm not. I'm not a mumu. Anyway, so I didn't go to the gym. I tried at home workouts, and it was okay. But what I lacked was motivation to keep going. So I just stopped altogether. I stopped working out, and that was that. And so when I realized was when that shout out to my friend Victor. Anyway, he was like, oh, you know, something you want to tell me? You want to, you got any news? I was like, no, I don't have any news. And he was like, oh, I'm just wondering. I'm, you know, I said, what are you trying to say, Victor? What are you trying to say? Mm-hmm. And I'm mentioning his name. I don't know whether he's, he's not really online like that. But if he ever comes across this video, Victor, you know what you did. You know what you were applying. Anyway, that's it. Because for me... You're just implying that I'm pregnant and I'm not. I just got a fat belly and I knew it was time to go to the gym. Not the gym, I wasn't going to the gym. It was time to do something about it. So I started working out. I joined Mum Me Fit. She is amazing. Shout out to Nostrat. She is such a motivator. And I love it because she's a mum of three, gonna be four. Congratulations to her. Um, and she is so like helpful and so caring and so i joined her zoom class which is three times a week um monday wednesday fridays and like we have like monday is hit wednesday is like kettlebell and then on the friday we work on our abs guys but it was working it was really working i started to you know get more strength because i was using weights as well because we do strength training with the kettlebells and and dumbbells and i just felt better i started to feel better and everything and then she she asked if anyone wanted to join a 22 day no sugar challenge like i'm someone that i absolutely can't back down from a challenge i try i try to be like that person like you know just calm cool it's too cool to really do anything like i'm not really bothered I am. I just like to get involved. I like to do stuff. I like to try myself. I like to push myself um, with just trying the most random things. I tried to do vegan. I remember I shared that I was going vegan and uh, breastfeeding. It was very stupid, but I, like I said, I like to challenge myself. <laughs> that was the wrong time. Anyway, um, so I was like, yeah, I'll, get, I'll jump on board. So, like, it was intense. I, I literally just finished, like, a few days ago. And it was intense, guys. After like three days, I started to get headache. We had a group where, <laughs> you know, those that were doing the challenge were in that group. It was amazing. Shout out to those ladies. The support was amazing to have each other and food ideas and get creative with food. It was really, really helpful. And we all got like withdrawal. You know, the thing is when you don't eat sugar, you might be like, I don't really eat sugar like that. I use honey or whatever, but there's sugar in your bread. Like a giga bread, Nigerian bread they call it jamaican hardware bread here that stuff white bread um pastries white flour starchy foods eba gary all those kind of things like they sit in our bodies and it turns into starch and sugars in our bodies and it's basically it's what gives us that extra belly and i was having a little bit of a pouch and um it was really frustrating me
And I knew that if I joined the challenge as well, I could lose some, you know, inches on my waist. Like, because, you know, I put on a lot. Even my derriere was massive. Emmanuel was loving it. But, you know, which is great. I don't mind having a big bum, but if it comes with a bigger belly, I'm not for it. I need to, something's got to give. I think most of us ladies, we want a big bum, but no, but flat tummies. Like, that's what we want. <laughs> so our coach started us off with a food plan and following week we would come up with a food plan for ourselves so the plan would be from monday to sunday and for breakfast lunch and dinner and we were allowed to have a cheat meal one cheat meal on a saturday and you know we were allowed to, which was pretty flexible but we couldn't like, go over would like she would tell us that we couldn't have takeaway at least you could have some of the things that maybe you've been craving all week it really did my body good. Also working out a bit more now because we're doing extra workouts as well. I'm not gonna lie, it was intense. It was really intense, especially for the first couple of weeks. I think my body, my body was just like, I need sugar, I need sugar. And that's when I knew it was an addiction, that sugar is actually an addiction because even things I don't normally eat, I was craving, like everything just looks so tasty. Like, I don't even usually eat cake, but cake was just on the top of my I need to eat list. <laughs> on my godson's birthday, there was cake. I was like, I really want this cake. I had like a little piece of it. It was part of my cheat meal. You know, I really cheated. <laughs> yeah, like it was just really, ah, uh, just really wanted it. Um, It's so weird that now it's over. I feel like I, I can't delve into the sugar. Like I had... A little bit of hard dough bread the other day and my stomach felt bloated like and i realized just how much sugar bloats me I started eating salads guys i started eating salads for like lunch and i never would have thought that salads would fill me and there was one day that i had salad and i couldn't even have dinner because i was that full food planning really helped because i knew what i was gonna have like, and if, if I wanted to change it, I could change it with maybe something else that I had on my plan for the week. Just change it around. I didn't have to be too rigid. Also, it's, I didn't get stuck and be like, oh, am I going to have and just end up like, normally I would just eat white rice and stew because there would always be stew around. But I was more creative and, and I was ready to try new things. And I haven't lost so much weight, so to speak, but although Emmanuel has... <laughs> said my bum has gone down a bit but I'm not mad like you know I can I just feel better in myself I feel more energetic I just feel great I feel really good it's not a fad diet I'm eating all the things I would eat and but I'm eating replacements like I would have brown rice in replacement for white rice with stew make like like a pounded yam kind of thing but it was obviously oats have it with like stew and all the soups and stuff and I would be fine I like Ebba but it does sit in the stomach again it's really really starchy i'm a new person guy look at my arms look at my look at my arms like they're like they're getting cut like oh my god i'm so excited about it so i felt like i had to share because i know that there were some people that um they were actually asking me i know that some influencers say this but had at least two people yes two people asking me like, please, what else? <laughs> what did you eat in place of rice? Especially because it's so hard to be like, ah, oh, rice is the go-to because you make stew. On this healthy eating journey, you get creative. Like, there's so many more things that we can eat that we, that we, we don't realise because we're so stuck eating the same things. And again, planning. Food helps planning, like, you know, prepping for the week. That, that really, really saves my dairy, yeah. So, yeah, like, I'm just, just really excited to, have to share with you guys. So, yeah, this is what I've been eating. I've been eating some prawn salad i've been eating oats with fruit i've been drinking a lot more water I'm getting my two liters a day that is a must at least and it is making the difference i'm trying to be here for a long time and in good health so this is all part of my self-care like and being intentional about myself like i shared with you guys i really just want to be looking after myself so i can look after my family better you know who else is with me Let's, you know, let's do this. I'm off the plan now. I'm not doing no sugar. I can eat sugar. But you know, they say that in 21 days, a habit is formed. I really feel like, really feel like because I'm more conscious of, I'm more aware of what is in the food that I'm eating. And I'm more gearing towards high protein, like lean meat, chicken, turkey, and, you know, red meat, because obviously you need that for iron and everything. 
but not too much of that. Like I'm just more conscious about what I want to eat and I feel like it's really changed me for the better. So yeah. So if you see me walking around in crop tops, mind your business because I've earned this. Hey! <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. Are you guys on like eating healthy and stuff? I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect. As well, please do not quote me. I'm still going to eat scones sometimes. I'm still going to have a cup of tea with scones. And a little bit of pastry. But I'm really going to cut it down. I have cut it down anyway. I can enjoy those things like once in a while. I'm trying to just be intentional about what I'm putting in my body. So yeah, if you guys are on this, get on this. And I encourage you to... Do what is good for you and eat well like yeah all these fad diets and all this belly whatever be careful of all those pills and all these drinks and stuff people are like oh oh five days there's no quick way you have to do the work to look good you got to do the work if you want to and you want to sustain it you got to do the work all those pills and stuff you got to be careful because they'll give you diarrhea and god knows it could infect your insides and you don't want to put any rubbish just do what you need to do eat well like you don't have to have plenty of money because i feel like it's even cheaper to eat well <laughs> it's cheaper just eat fresh fruit veg a lot and put it in your food and you know you even reduce the amount of stew you're making because not every time stew 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 i'll share some of the pictures of what the things i've been eating as well and i hope that kind of inspires you if you're interested i'll see you guys in my next video and click the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't i'll see you guys in my next video bye peace out a town down dun, dun, dun. these arms mm -mm. Mm. is your name armanda because your arms are great sorry i'm so sorry